Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be talking about Jackie Kennedy and her skincare routine. So a few letters from Erno Laszlo to Jackie Kennedy have been revealed by the Makeup Museum and I'm gonna be reading these letters to you and showcasing her skincare routine. So when you think of the 1960s, you really think of Jackie Kennedy and when you think of American culture from the 20th century, especially in the 1960s for style and beauty and politics, you really think of the Kennedy family and Jackie Kennedy is such an iconic figure from the 20th century. She is a New York born first lady who is known for her well manicured beauty and recognizable tailored suits and her beautiful bouffant brunette haircut. She spent the summers in Cape Cod and had a beautiful sun kiss glow. Jackie Kennedy was a client of the dermatologist Erno Laszlo, as well as Audrey Hepburn and Marilyn Monroe during this era. And Erno Laszlo sent intimate letters to Jackie Kennedy, giving her instructions on diet and skincare routine. And I'm gonna reveal one of the letters to you today. And thanks to Erno Laszlo loaning these documents to the New York City's Makeup Museum, you can now read Jackie Kennedy's medicine cabinet and her prescribed skincare routine from Erno Laszlo herself. And a lot of these products are still available today. So I have a typewritten letter detailing Jackie's skincare consultation with Erno Laszlo. And there's also advice for her husband, President John F. Kennedy. And this letter is dated May 1st, 1963, approximately six months before the president's death. Getting into the summer of 63, the order breaks down a seasonal specific guidelines for the weeks they would spend on their vacation in Cape Cod. And it also shows lengths of Jackie went into maining her public image. And this document is definitely a historical gem and can be seen at the Makeup Museum. It also speaks to the role of women in society and the importance of flawless beauty during that time and the immense pressure that Jackie Kennedy had to look perfect and have a perfect skin. And when you read the letter, you can see that the tone of the dermatologist to Jackie is very intimate with very precise details and kind of unorthodox and unique advice. Erno Laszlo instructs Jackie to use facial toner on her armpits eat a protein-rich diet with lots of fish, no matter what kind of fish, and forego her sun hat because he claims that the sun is good for her and she shouldn't be afraid of brown spots because he will remove them for her in the fall. I think that's crazy. Um, in my opinion, you should always at least wear sunscreen and a hat and try to avoid the sun because, I mean, I don't know if they had IPLs back then. My guess is no. So, I mean, it would be very hard to remove a lot of those sunspots. For Jackie Kennedy's morning routine, she was instructed to slather on two products daily. Erno Laszlo's Light Controlling Lotion, and this is a gentle exfoliating toner, and Erno Laszlo's Fetatil Oil, and this is a pre-cleansing oil. The dermatologist begins his note by giving his off-label use for the facial toner as an armpit treatment, including Jackie to apply her light controlling lotion to her underarm as she would to her face. Dr. Lassell also recommends that Jackie massages the felatil oil into her arms and legs to keep her body well moisturized. This document also features a suggested meal plan, and this is for her skin health. He wants her to eat two hard boiled eggs with breakfast, beef and fish for dinner and lunch, and he prescribed Jackie a protein rich diet and permitted champagne. And the doctor also recommends that Jackie exercises by walking, but apparently that really bores Jackie and she can't do it in Washington, DC. And the letter also states that Jackie should avoid heavy moisturizers and oils on her face during the summertime. But in my opinion, if you're gonna be getting a lot of sun, I feel like the oils would help moisturize your skin, especially if it's gonna be dried out from the sunshine. And he is stating that otherwise, if you use too much moisturizer, the bumps, will never disappear and the blackheads and pimples on your face will reappear. And this also suggests that when Jackie went to visit Dr. Erno Laszlo, she may have had concerns with pimples and acne on her face and is told to avoid pore clogging oils. The letter also consists of instructions catered to Jackie's husband, John F. Kennedy, and this is how she can help him treat the breakouts on his back. And Dr. Erno Laszlo asked Jackie to put the fetal oil 
on his back to prevent breakouts and irritation from bathing. His back is so dry and it breaks out in pimples because he has to take four baths a day. I'm not sure why he has to take four baths a day, but this letter is claiming that. And Laszlo recommended that the late president coat his back in the oil before sinking into the bath and then using the light controlling lotion after. And Jackie said that she wasn't sure that he would want to do any of this. However, if his back is really bad, she will help him. So there are other products that Jackie did use besides the ones mentioned in the prescription. She used the Erno Laszlo Sea Mud Cleansing Bar for her acne prone skin. She also used the Erno Laszlo Formula 3-9, which is a really thick moisturizing cream. She most likely probably used this one in the winter time or not in the summertime. And she also used the Erno Laszlo Shake It Tinted Treatment, which was also used by Marilyn Monroe. So I'm gonna go in and try out this beauty routine and test out these products for you to see. Jackie spent so much time in the sun, skincare is very important to her. She also smoked a lot of cigarettes, two packs a day. So it was very important for her to try to have a youthful looking skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the Erno Laszlo routine. And to start, she was told to use the Felatil pre-cleansing oil on her face and body. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a cotton pad and use it on my face before I cleanse. And Jackie had problems with acne and oily skin. So her routine is a little bit different than Marilyn Monroe. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this oil on my face. I personally would prefer to put the oil on after I wash my face for more moisturizing benefits, but I think this is more almost like a makeup remover too. And it really works well. You just rub it on your face for cleansing. She was also instructed to put the oil on her body. So I'm going to put some on my hands and rub, rub it into my arms and legs. And it comes out quite nicely. And also John F. Kennedy was advised to put this oil on his back and neck before he went in the bath and before he went out in the sun because he also suffered from acne. Now that I applied the oil, I'm gonna go in with the deep cleanse with a washcloth to cleanse the skin. So I'm gonna use the Erno Laszlo sea, Deep Sea Mud Cleansing Bar and this is the same one Audrey Hepburn also used. And this one is more for oily skin. It's a little bit different than the one Marilyn used. So I'm gonna go ahead and lather this one up and wash my face with it. So right away, I can tell that this one does not foam up as much as the one that Marilyn used, but I really like the feeling on my skin. It feels kind of deep cleaning and it kind of smells like deep sea botanicals, if that's a thing. And now that my face is clean, I'm going to splash it with really ice cold water to kind of close up the skin and shock my face. I'm going to do that in my basin to get my face nice and fresh and close all my pores. So after Jackie cleaned her face, she was advised to use a light controlling lotion on her face as well as her armpits to help control the oil. So I'm going to go in and apply the light controlling lotion now that my face is nice and clean. And it really has a nice tingling sensation and this is what Jackie used after she washed her face to control the oil production and mattify her skin. And I'm also going to use it on my armpits, which is kind of interesting, to help, I guess, control the oil production, so I'm doing that right now. To test it out and see how that goes. Feels kind of nice, I guess, kind of refreshing. She used the Shake It Normalizer to help balance and mattify her skin. And then you just apply the normalizer to the face. And after applying the light controlling lotion, she used the Formula 39 Serum and Face Creams. But I know based on the book that she did use the Erno Laszlo's Formula 3 and 9 formula. And this is very thick. I probably put on too much crap. 
This is more of like a heavy moisturizing cream. Apparently this one was made, custom made for Marilyn Monroe, but Jackie also loved this cream. And after applying the cream, she is advised to use a Kleenex and blot off the excess cream so it doesn't get on her pillow at night. I really don't see the point of doing this because I want my creams to really soak in. I don't want to waste it, especially for a really expensive cream, but this seems to be a popular vintage beauty technique, is blotting off the excess product with the tissue. And before switching to Erno Laszlo, Jackie Kennedy loved Dorothy Gray face cream, and I really like this one because it's super vintage. I love the pink color. So I'm going to try this on and see how it compares to the Erno Laszlo one. It's obviously way more affordable, and I love the pink color. Very heavy cream. I really don't need much, but it definitely smells like the 1950s. I love the scent of this one. It has a really vintage retro scent to it, and it's very heavy. Very heavy cream. That is it for her skincare routine. I'm going to go in now and do my makeup, and I'll check back with you guys. Now that my makeup's done, I'm going to go ahead and put on my lipstick. And Jackie Kennedy loved Elizabeth Arden, and there is a lipstick that matched some of the colors that I saw in photos that she wore. And this is baby pink, but Vintage Doll Cosmetics Sharon lipstick is quite similar to this light pink Elizabeth Arden shade. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the Sharon lipstick because it has that 1960s pink look. And as you can see, it looks like a really nice pink 1960s lipstick. It definitely looks like something Jackie Kennedy would have worn. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of Jackie Kennedy's skincare routine and have you tried any of these products. I also linked everything below that was featured in this video. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.